Time for another speed paint tutorial where we'll be showing you a few different methods on how to paint up the best bad guys with the worst aim. Stormtroopers from Star Wars Legion, the game. Now white is historically a difficult color to paint, but today we're gonna to show you that it doesn't have to be the case. In fact, it can be super easy and a lot of fun. Let's get right to it. We're starting with a Stormtrooper that has been primed in color primer matte white. While Zenithal and Slapchop style base coating is great for many colors, when painting with white speed paint, it's best to begin with a pure white base coat. That's because painting white, you're truly painting in gray tones and white is reserved for your brightest and most extreme highlights. Thomas has applied a bit of holy white to a palette and he's just going to apply this liberally over the entire miniature with a Wargamer Regiment brush. When this much of your miniature is the same color, it's best to apply our speed paint in a top-down fashion to help gravity work the darker pigments into the recesses. In just a short period of time, you can already see how the grayish pigment in holy white flows into the recesses for a very convincing white armor. Now using a Masterclass dry brush and a bit of War Paint's matte white, Thomas is going to dry brush the Stormtroopers, focusing the white paint over the raised edges of the miniature. Once that's done, the armor is essentially done, so let's pick out the details starting with Speed Paint Grim Black. We'll begin by blocking in the eyes on the Stormtrooper helmets. You can also use Grim Black to Speed Paint any of the housing on the armor near the elbow joints and behind the knees. You can also use this color to paint the weapons that are famous for misfiring and missing targets, luckily for the Rebels. Take your time here and be as neat as you can so you don't get any of the black paint on the white armor you've previously painted. But if you do paint outside the lines, you can always go over it with a bit of that base coat of matte white and repeat the first two steps before trying again. For the unit leader, we'll paint the shoulder pauldron with zealot yellow. This is a nice bright orangish yellow. Apply this nice and smoothly over the pauldron for a simple base coat effect. For the bases, we'll apply Sand Golem to the textured bases Thomas has created here. You could also use a gray like a cultist cloak, or even a deeper brown like dark wood depending on the theme and setting that you're trying to replicate. Once the sand golem has dried, Thomas will apply a dry brush of Warpaint's Arid Earth to help redefine the details and reinforce the desert theme of the bases. Then we'll finish off the bases with some Highland Tufts from our Battlefields range, apply a few random sizes to the base along with some Battlefields basing glue for a realistic and simple final result. Repeat this across the entirety of your unit for a very coherent theme. And there you have it in eight simple steps you've painted an entire unit of Star Wars Legion Stormtroopers to a very nice tabletop ready standard. There's more than one way to speed paint your Stormtroopers. You can pause here to take a screenshot or continue to listen as I run through these next options. Replace Holy White with Blinding Light developed with our friends at Watch It Paint It for a brighter and cleaner armor. For a more dusty and weathered look, try Pallid Bone Dry Brush with Matte White to give your Stormtroopers an aged appearance. And don't forget to subscribe to the Army Painter on YouTube for your chance to win an entire speed paint rack, along with loads of other cool prizes along the way as we try to reach 100,000 subscribers.